Hey everyone, welcome to How Good Is My Japanese Part 2, the sequel that people have been waiting for for like an entire year. So, if you are unaware, I am trying to learn Japanese, and I pretty much, well, I kind of started a year ago. It's a little bit complicated, but a year ago I made a video called How Good Is My Japanese because people were curious about that. And at that point in time, all the Japanese knowledge I had was pretty much leftover knowledge from brief previous failed attempts at learning like like a long time ago. So it really wasn't that great. And I did try to read some Japanese manga in that video to try to show people how good slash bad I, I was at Japanese. And I knew some common words, and that was a pretty easy manga to read, so I, th I think it impressed some people a little bit, but it really wasn't anywhere near good enough, my ability, to be able to do anything really all that meaningful with. So after that video was made, I pretty much decided to, for real this time, I'm going to be good at Japanese eventually. It's, it's, it's a long road, but as long as you keep going forward down it, you'll eventually get to that gas station known as Japanese proficiency. So a year since then has passed, and hopefully I'm a little bit better than I was back then. That is kind of the hope. And this video is pretty much going to be a similar kind of thing as that video where I read something, but it'll be something different, which I'll, I'll let you know in a little bit. But for now... I do want to just kind of talk a little bit about how I learned Japanese. It's nothing too fancy. I do not take any kind of class or anything. I do not have any textbooks. My Japanese studying, the vast majority of it pretty much just consists of watching Japanese anime and VTubers and reading visual novels slash eroge and doujinshi. That's pretty much my studying. Like I'll occasionally like Google some weird grammar thing that's giving me trouble. Uh, but j the day to day, that is what I do. That is my studying. And that might surprise some people that you could actually learn it just by doing that. But I mean, why wouldn't you? The Japanese language is out there. It's like a wild breathing existence creature. And you just you look at it, you listen to it. You, 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 it makes sense to you more and more the more you see it. It's just, just kind of how it works. It's not the kind of thing that has to be taught to you like f chemical formulas or science or anything like that. But it just, it just, yeah, it's just a thing there that you observe and you get to know it better. That's really what, how it works. So anyway, I'm not going to get in any kind of debate about what the best way to learn Japanese is. I'm just saying that's how I do it. I just listen to it and read it and slowly things make more and more sense. That's That's pretty much my method. So... Anyway, that's probably everything I really got to say, so let's just get into it. Now, I am not going to be reading manga this time. I'm going to be reading a visual novel, just kind of upping that difficulty a little bit. And the one I decided to go with is, well, I should probably load it up first, and then I could say it as it appears on screen. That would probably be a bit more cooler. So, after all these little entrance logos, and there we go. Yeah, Cafe Stella. This is, I think, I think the most recent game by Usersoft. So, this is what I opted to use for this demonstration, and I mean, why not? Now, some of the lines are voiced, so I probably won't read those because there's not much point in it. It'd be kind of like cheating because I kind of gave me the answer of how it's read, but I'll probably still say what I think it means, you know, that kind of thing. So, and if I don't know what a word means, I'll kind of just skip it. I mean, that's, that's all I really can do, right? So, yeah, let's just get into it. I think everything's working just fine. So, I don't really know much about the visual novel. It, I guess it takes place in a cafe. It involves a death god and butterfly. That's the Shinigami and Cho. Shinigami, death god, Cho, butterfly. You probably know Shinigami if you're a weeb, so no, we'll definitely don't want to explain that. But anyway, let's just get into it. Yuzusoft has some pretty great art and stuff. I never actually played a Yuzusoft game. I've just seen screenshots and... That is enough to get the art style, but I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Let's just get into it. I might even cut that in editing. So. And there's our Cho, our butterfly. Oh, wait, this is a trial, by the way, as well, so. Daijoubu. Kowai tokoro arimasen. Shiawase no tameni. Yeah, I swear I know that word. It wouldn't come to me, though. Okay. Hey, it's morning. Wake up. Pretty simple line. Mm -hmm. I guess it's our protagonist. I'm not gonna know how to read names unless they tell me in Furigana. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. Just, just how it goes. 
Ow. Okay, so yeah, basically, you wake up, it's already past 7, it says his name in Furigana Kose. Uh, it's morning, the uh, food's ready, uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff, so. Uh, oh, that's an O. Oh, arigato. Why is he ah oh, so small? Arigato, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically saying, yeah, you don't have to thank me. It, outside, it's it's bright, you know. That's a reason to avoid the outside world, really. And I know the name thing is just a kanji for voice, because we don't know her name yet. It's clearly a girl, probably a childhood friend. So, and she's gonna open up the curtains and blind us. Yep, I think that's what she's doing. Wa mabushi! Just means, like, yeah, bright. Oof, did he fall out of bed? <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently that falling out of bed really paid off. I might, I might end up censoring that, because YouTube is pretty... Then YouTube's not a big fan of Pansu, but uh, it is quite nice. I like how that's literally, literally the first CG we get. But anyway, ite! Ouch, basically. Itai, ite, much more manly way to say it than itai. It's just, it's pain. It's hurting. He's in, he's in pain. Uh, I think that's Mabush... Mabushi Sakara... Mm, I want to say that's Nigere Yoto... Ne... Ne kairyo uttara beddo kara ochite shimatara shi. Okay, something about falling out of the bed, yeah, brightness, escaping it, yeah, something like that, yeah. Shinguru saizu wa yapari semai. Okay, single size bed, as expected, is small. I'm not gonna, these aren't exactly gonna be, I'm just saying basically what it means, I'm not gonna give any kind of fancy translation, so. That's basically what it means. Okay, she said that pretty quickly. Uh, is, uh... Mm. I feel like I should know what this says, but I don't, I just, I don't. Cause I, I recognize most of the pieces, but it's just not coming together. Which is just just happens sometimes when you lack experience. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Wakateru, utagatte nai kado mabushi. Yes, it's bright. Okay, she's saying it's morning. Gotta wake up. Today is. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, Jugyo, she's talking about class. Something about class, maybe class starting. I, I'm not quite sure on that one. So, non dakado, sore yori. Basically, yeah, that's true, but, you know, more importantly, he's probably gonna bring up the visible pansu. Pa pansu ga miata. Didn't see the panties, yes. Anmari. Iro Iroki or Iroke, one of the two. No, nai pansu dato dato mota. Basically saying they're not sexy at all. The pansu. Yeah, fudan. She's not sure about that one. No, nara kore gurai ga futsu nano kamoshina nai kedo. Uh, not sure about this kanji right here before the coup. I mean, fudan is normal. Nara just if kore kurai. Like, this this degree. Futsu, normal. I guess you're just saying that this amount of sexiness is normal. Probably something like that. Something like that. That one kanji is the only thing that's throwing me off, that one word. All, sometimes all it takes is one word you don't know to just make it impossible to put a sentence together. But, you know. Doubts. Iroki wa nai to omoitsutsumo me o sorasenakata. So... Yeah, wh while I was thinking that the panties weren't sexy, uh, not, something about not, something about eyes avoiding, you know, something like that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of grammar and conjugation going on there, okay. Otoko toshite wa yappari mite shimau. So, otoko toshite as a man, uh, yappari as expected, mite shimau. Hmm, I mean, mite si, 
I'm not sure exactly what this sentence is trying to say. Maybe that she doesn't see me as a man? I'm not quite sure. Japanese is a very context-dependent language. So, it's anyone's guess, really, without experience. Sore ga imasara onna datto ishiki dekinai... Well, that's a big word. <laughs> Ace. I know I've seen that word before, I don't quite remember. Anyway, I'll skip that. Dato shitemo toyuka... Something mo choto mu. Uh, I think that means defenseless. I can't quite remember how to pronounce it. Mubo, muhobi, mu, something like that. Uh, sugi yashinaika. Uh, so that was quite, quite a sentence. Basically, something about being conscious of being a woman, uh, something like that. Defenseless, uh, something like that. Ikura, using that word again. Towai, uh, itori. Uh, that's kudas. I think it's a coup. I think it's a coup. Because it's kudasu live, like living somewhere. Hitori kudashi no otoko no heya ni agaru toyu no wa. Okay, basically talking about coming into a man's room. Uh, something like that. Basically asking what he's talking about. Yeah, nandemonai des. Yeah, never mind. That Asawa okoshite moratte shikamo choshoku, right, breakfast. Mo tsukutte moratte ru tachiba no ore ga iyaru koto janai na sore wa. Okay, yeah, basically talking about her making him breakfast and all that. Basically, something about that. Karada ga darui kara mo chotto Necessite. Like, I'm still feeling a bit droggy, just let me sleep a bit more. That one was an easy line. And that's one of the things, when you're still learning Japanese or any language, really, you'll be, you'll be trying to read something and you'll see a sentence you can barely make heads or tails of, and then the next sentence, like, oh yeah, I understand this perfectly, with very little left for effort. And that kind of flip-flopping back and forth between thinking you're good and bad is pretty frustrating, honestly, so. Though the only good thing is that eventually things get into a bit better of a balance, so. We don't have time for that. Smaho de jikan o kakunin. Basically checking the clock on his phone. Yeah, September 28th. Monday, Getsuyobi. Gozen nana shichiji jupun korenana. Yeah, September 28th. Monday, 7 in the morning. Well, 7.10. So, yeah, it's about the time it is. Ato go... Gofun. I think it's Gofun. Gofun dake. Gofun nara daijobu dakara. Just give me five more minutes. Five minutes is fine. Zuru zuru. Not sure on that one. Sonomama is just like, you know, as is. is, is, is kind of hard to explain. <clears throat> Neru kseni. Neru is obviously asleep. Kseni is d despite. So, I'm not sure what the zuru zuru means exactly. That's kind of what's throwing me off of this sentence. I think she's just trying to say five minutes might not be enough as well. I don't know. I don't, I'm not quite sure what she's trying to say there. Kyo wa daijoubu. Chanto okiru kara mo chotto dake. See, that's another easy sentence. Basically just saying, you know, I'll be, it's, I'll be fine today. Just, just give me a little bit. I'll wake up just fine. Just, just give me a, just give me a bit. Dots. I can read that. I didn't really pay much attention, but yeah, her name. Her name actually did change. Yeah. Iroki no nai pansu no nanoko. I can't remember if it's pronounced Iroki or Iroke. I don't remember what it means. I guess that's what matters, but... Because so, generally, this kanji is pronounced Ki, but it is sometimes Ke, like in certain words. I don't remember if that's one of them. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's, she's saying just five minutes. Oh, you're only getting five minutes. If you're not up by five minutes, I'm waking you up. Pretty much what she's trying to say. Okay. Maybe that's maybe that's her name. I don't know, I'm not sure. But uh, otherwise I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Go fun ato ni okoshite. Yeah, I'll get up in five minutes. Uh so yeah, Tsugo no e is just convenient, right? A assistant, like just I I don't want you to treat me like your AI assistant, I think is what she's trying to say. Well, did it say AI? Yeah, AI. So, basically, yeah. I don't think she appreciated that. Sona tsumari janai. 
I did not intend to do that. Pretty easy sense as well. It's gotta be her name. Definitely. I, I don't know. Whatever, Niwa. Itsumo Kansha Shteru. Dakara Tanamu. Ato Kofun. Okay, he's saying that he always is grateful for what she does, so just give me give me that five minutes, please. Okay, we finally established we're getting five minutes. Arigato! You're welcome. So, we finally got her out of our room, so let's go back to bed for an hour. Beddo ni modote. Futatabi meo tojiru. You know, once again, close my eyes. Mo choto dake kono ki something no jikano. Uh. I'm not sure what that word is at all. I think that second kanji of it is used in Kisa, the cafe, but man, man Kisa, I don't know. Let's just let that go. <laughs> what the heck is she getting ready to do? Like, she didn't really say much here, just she mentioned the five minute thing again, and she's clearly preparing to say something. I guess we'll find out what that is. Oh, she's singing. <laughs> Why? 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 Why is she singing? Uh, Hoshizora, like starry sky, Miyageru, just looking up at it. Omoi Dasu is just remembering something. Kimi no Koto, just you, about you. So just some, she's obviously singing some song. I don't know if it's a song she made up or what, but she's singing a song. And yeah, it definitely is her name because it's the kanjis there. Nandaro. Something teiru kyoku ka, some kind of song. Ore wa kita koto ga nai ki ga ia mate yo kiki oboe ga aru. Okay, first he's saying that he's not. He just doesn't think he's heard this song before. But by the end of the sentence, he's like, "Oh wait, I think I have heard it." I think that's what that says. Saikin janakte mukashi so ore ga chu gakko no koro da. Basically, I haven't heard it recently, but I've heard it in middle school. Another pretty easy sentence. Gita o oboete cho choshi ni note originaru songu. You gotta love the the English being said in katakana. No hiki katari monogatari some katari something like that. Oh shite shimatte ta shimatta. Uh, Kuro Rekishi no Koroni. I know Rekishi is history, so I guess Black History, just like a dark past kind of thing, a past you don't want to, past you don't want to remember. I'm guessing that's what that means. So basically, he went through a stage back in middle school where he played the guitar. He made his own songs, and he was really confident in them. And now he realizes how much they sucked. I think that's kind of what he's saying there. Ah, yeah. Okay, so I think I get her plan now. She's trying to embarrass him to, as a way to get him to. I get it now. Again, now she's bringing up this embarrassing past to get him out of bed. Smart. She's pretty smart. Especially if she's a childhood friend, she could she could do this sort of thing. Ah. Well, maybe... <laughs> maybe you shouldn't be singing then. Okay, she's just saying that she's... He, I surprised her and she's wondering what I'm doing all of a sudden, just getting up so abruptly. Ore no ho ga bikurista wa? Wa. Didn't know guys use wa. Ikinari... Na nani nan one of the two. Utate no no basically asking what's with the singing the song all of a sudden. <laughs> That's the name of the song. Okay, sure. Taitoru o Kita Wake Janai. I did not ask you the title. <laughs> She's just going back at it. <laughs> Uh, not exactly the best thing I've ever heard, but okay. So, sore made kangaete koto nakata, basically saying I didn't think that far, something like that. Mirai ga mie nakte, not seeing the future is something, something every day. Gya! Utai tsuzukeru na! Stop, don't don't keep singing, please, please stop. Sore yori nande sono orega skuta kyoku 
Let's try that again. Nido nesuru ore eno ia garaseni chitate hito no hito sugiru. Wow, I did a terrible job reading that. But uh, basically, he's saying it's just, just singing a song that he created. It's just not, it's not very nice. It's just not very nice at all. Uh, I don't have that terrible of a personality. Really? Okay. Uh, I guess she, I think she's saying that five minutes is enough to sing the song. So it's perfect for this situation. Nanimo Yokuneyo, there's nothing good about this. But uh, yeah, it stopped you from keeping sleeping, right? Or, that's not very literal. I, I mean, Nido is basically like never again, kind of, is what that's supposed to be, I think. Like, like a second time. Depending on some things. So, basically just saying, yeah, just, it gets you to stop from going back to sleep. Is the gist of it. Neterareru ka. Yeah. That's potential form. So, this is definitely something you can't translate very literally. But basically saying, that's if I could possibly go back to sleep with you singing that. That's kind of what he's trying to say. <laughs> Is that so? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think that would be any better. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a word together or not. Because that's a kanji for, like, choosing and song. So... Basically, I mean, I know what he's saying here. Basically, he's, he's saying that the, the choice of song is not the problem, is what he's trying to say. Onegai des... I'm not sure what that word is. Naku. Ore no kuro rekishi o... Yeah, I really should know what that word is, but I don't. Oko sanai de kudasai. Mo okimasu, okimasu kara. Saying, I'm up, I'm up, so just stop with the singing. Don't bring up my my dark past anymore. That's what I got from that sentence. <laughs> yeah, so basically there's a little bit of misunderstanding here. He took it as she's torturing him with his own terrible made-up song back in his chuny days. And she's like, that's not really what I was trying to do. I just thought I would sing a nice song. It's just like, why are you being so mean to me? You know, it's that kind of thing. So it's it's pretty funny. Yeah, breakfast, well, food will be ready soon. So, so this is kind of what I mean. Obviously, I can't read all of the words that are being said here, but I'm not at all confused about the plot, what's going on. Like, I'm following it pretty much perfectly, even if there's definitely some very noticeable gaps in what I can read. So, if you want to give a try reading Japanese visual novels after only learning for a few months, you know, feel free to do it. You'll probably get something out of it. Even if you can't understand literally every word. So, whatever the name is, wa pata pata to kichi no hoe modote iku. Basically, your footsteps, she went back to the kitchen. Kuso ton demonai chi uchi o ukete. Uh, nemuki ga. Uh, basically saying that his tiredness has been blown away. I'm not sure how to read the words exactly, but I think that's what he's trying to say here. Uh, because of this, he's no longer sleepy, is I think the gist of what he's trying to say in this sentence. Still don't know what that means. I still really don't. I kind of almost want to look it up, but I'll, I'll avoid doing it. Te no wa... Something... again. Da jibun ga wasureteru yona koto made oboeteru aite wa tokuni. Okay, wait, what? Uh... Okay, I think he's just expressing surprise that something that he forgot about, she remembers, I think. I think. There's an... Okay. There's... Sumi... Man, that Furigana is tiny. Sumi... Zome or Zome? I can't quite tell. Meno Zome... I don't really care. Choshoku otsukute kureteru... That word again. Kazaku guru... Me... Kazuku Gurumi no Tsukiai de Iyamo Sonani 
離れていなかった。俺たちは子供の頃から一緒に過ごすことも多かった。So I think pretty much confirming that they are childhood friends here. So that's, that's good. おかげでこの,このようだ。I think. しかし、お前よく覚えてたな。あんな歌。Again, talking about her knowing the song. Send, send me. Not quite sure what that means as well. But again, talking about remembering it from the childhood. Okay, there's an easy sentence. Pretty much saying it'd be great if you could just forget about it. That'd be fine. That'd be, that'd be preferable. Data, okay. So. I think. Wait. Yeah, she has to be just saying that she remembers him singing the song, right? That's. I can't imagine what else that's supposed to be saying. Yeah. Wait, data. Wait, maybe she, by data she meant that literally, like she actually has a recording of it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> I don't think this makes him as happy as it does you. Okay, so she's saying she cleaned the room and she found her old smartphone. Uh. Yeah, and basically the song was on there, I think is what you're trying to say. Nande data nante arundayo. Why do you have any that kind of data? Okay, so she's saying she wasn't the one that recorded it? I think she's I think. Like she's saying that for the record. Okay, so he definitely was the one that recorded it. And just wanted her to hear the like the completed thing. So really he has no one to blame but himself for any of this. So Dake, is that is that so? <laughs> Basically saying not to doubt her. Simon, my bad. Oboro Okay, I'm not sure about this part. Oboroge, oboroge. I'm not sure. Nagara just means like some, doing something at the same time as something else. So na koto wo shita kimosuru. Just saying, I, I have a feeling something like that happened. Like something like that. Gita ga tanoshite nanka kizuita ra choshi ni notte tsui. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a fairly easy sentence. He's saying that he had a lot of fun with the guitar, and he kind of got carried away, got full of himself, you know. And just, that's just how it went. He got to the point where he wanted to show off and give the song to her, so. By the way, if you are a Japanese person and I'm just wrong about a lot of things, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Because I do acknowledge that I am still quite terrible, especially at pronunciation, because I haven't practiced that at all. So. Futoshita sakake de... That's a word. Sarete shimau SNS shakai nanto. Wait. Nanto. Nanto kashte? Something shinakeraba. Okay, this lens I'm just completely lost. I mean, SNS is just like social networking system, you know, social media. Shakai society. I got that much. But man, the rest of the sentence is kind of just a, a sea of confusion for me. So. Just gonna have to give up on that one. <laughs> nah, whatever your name is. Imakara omaya no heya ni itte mo ii kana. Wait, wait, wait. Imakara omaya no heya. Wait, is he asking to go to her room? Is that what he's saying? I think that's what he's saying. How bold. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's pretty cute. Okay, so this this is long, but it really wasn't that hard to read. She's saying that we're not we're not kids like we used to be. You can't just be casually going to my room these days, you know? Yeah, it's just like embarrassing and whatnot. That's that's what she's saying. Not a semete, 
頼みを聞いてくれないかその昔のデータ消してほしいんだ。Another easy sentence. He's saying, okay, at least, at least listen to one of my requests. Just get rid of the freaking data. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's definitely getting some MOE points here. Again, not too difficult to read. She's saying she can delete it because her precious memories with protagonist Kun. So. Omoide no Naka no. whatever name is. Wa moto. Tsunao, right? Yeah. Tsunao de iko datta no ni. So basically, saying the her and his memories is a more. Well, so now it can be translated a couple different ways. Usually it's like honest or docile, that kind of thing. So, well, Iko was just, you know, good girl. So, basically just saying like she was, yeah, a nicer. Basically like a nicer, more good, docile girl. I'm not sure what a good way to translate this would be. But something like that. Back then. Itu kara so nani seikaku ga waruku natanda oni chan wa. Kanashizo, when did you become? When did when did you get such a bad personality? Onichan is so sad. Yeah, <laughs> uh, shots fired. Okay, uh, if my personality is bad now, it's definitely your fault. So you bubun mo naku wa nai kamo na. Uh, so you see. I think he's just acknowledging the possibility of that. Well, Naku and Nai. Yeah, because Naku is negative and so is Nai. I think that double negative can cancels each other's out. The most, one of the most confusing things about Japanese is the double, triple, quadruple negatives. So, I think he's just saying that he can refute that. I, I think. I'm not confident on that, though. Uh, that, that aspect you accept, you acknowledge. Skunaktomo, Ojisan mo, Obasan mo, Ihito da, Ano Oyani Sodaterate Sekakuga something Jirare Jirare Wakeganai. Okay, saying how, well, saying Ojisan and Obasan, which I think can mean like uncle and aunt, but that might, might, he might be referring to her parents with that? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, Ano Oya is the parents, Sodate is raised, Seikaku personality. I think he's just trying to say she, she did not get this personality from the people that raised her. Again, I'm not confident at all in that, but that's, that's my guess. Okay, so protagonist Kun long ago was Amai, which I think is like sweet, naive, something like that. See, watashi ni wa kuchi urusai seni wa. I'm not sure about this part. Like, I mean, kuchi's mouth, urusai is like annoying, loud, seni. So, yeah, this is another example of where I feel like at most, I know most of the parts, but it's just not quite coming together in my head. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Tokoro de whatever son. Saki hodo no data no hanashi nan nan no desuga. Basically trying to get back on track with the the whole the data thing. The previous topic. Okay. She claims it was a joke and says, you know, if it bothers me, she won't sing it anymore, and she'll delete the data. Ontoka? Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, she's saying that it's 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 sad to delete, you know, lose those precious memories, but it's fine because she's already memorized it. Zenzen dajobu janeyo, saying it's not fine at all. <laughs> uh, wow, one final shot fired. Okay, she's saying it's a joke once again. There's no way she'd remember such a weird song. Hentoka iwareru to sore wa sore de moya to surena. Moya to surena. 
Not, sh not quite sure on this one. So, I mean, hen toka iwararuto just means saying that it's weird. So it was sort of the... Uh, the moya is what's confusing me here, I think. I'm not quite sure about that. I'll give up on that. <laughs> Wagamama is basically selfish or uh, spoiled, selfish, that kind of thing. I will delete it in any case. Yadoshiku tanamu. Yeah, let's get back to the food. Um, I'm, I'm really hungry. So I have no idea how long this video is going to go on. I have no idea how long it's already been going on. But I guess we'll just go until I can't go no more. I have nothing better to do. Itadakimasu. Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Is what that means. Hi. Here. Here you go. I mean, there's no real good translation of hi here, it's just, it's just like, yeah, here you go. He's probably feeding me or something. Duh. Duh? Just, how is it? Basically asking about how good the food is, I would assume. Oishi yo! Monku nai. This is delicious, I got no complaints. <laughs> probably should end it off at the end of the previous scene, but I'm just gonna keep going. Itsumo tsukute morate shinobi ne na. Shinobi ne na wait what? Shinobi, I know that's like a ninja. I don't know if that's what it means here though. I mean Itsumo Tsukute Morate just saying she's always making making it. I'm not sure what the shinobi means though, so who knows? Kamawan yo Kam Kama Kamau Kamawanai. Basically saying she doesn't mind, I guess. It's very slangy, but Okay, so for mother and father, mo uh, in the morning they like to eat bread. So being in the rice faction, uh, the her that's in the rice faction, she's glad to have somebody that's in the same, the same ha, the same faction. You know, I mean faction is not a very good translation for it, but this is what it is. So. Soi, soi, wait, soi ya soda, soi ya soda tana. I can't think of a good translation of that. Okay, so basically saying that what she's what she's wondering if he likes to eat bread once in a while. Is it a problem? Like, is it trouble that you know that the the rice faction me that's pushing rice on you? Something like that. Meiwaku to omoteru nara heya ni kuru natte itteru. Wait, what? Meiwaku to omoteru nara. Basically saying, th th if thinking it's trouble or not trouble. Meiwaku inconvenience. I'm not. I'm not sure what a good translation of that is off the top of my head. But yeah, meiwaku just an annoyance is. Anyway, if it's annoyance, going into the coming into the room. I can't quite tell what he's trying to say here, even though I know most of the words. So I can't I can't quite put it together, but he's probably referencing the fact that coming into his room to wake him up at all is a bit annoying. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Whatever. No, tsukuru gohan wa oishi monku nai tasukatteru arigato gozaimasu. Saying that the food that she makes is delicious, you know, nothing to complain about, it's very helpful, thank you. <laughs> you can praise me more. Oishi na kono dashi. Kono dashi something ki tamago. Eggs. So, he's calling it delicious again. I'm not quite sure what he's saying here. Kono dashi. Something key tamago. He's talking about eggs. Maybe the way it's cooked. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, like it's not talking about the food. We're talking about me here. Hinekuremono <laughs> dakara. No idea what that means. Hinek hineku. No, no clue. I mean, shogunai means it can't be helped. You probably know that if you watch anime. <laughs> But yeah, not quite sure. She's saying that the protagonist is something, though. 
Nani o you ore hodo sunao de shojiki na otoko wa inaizo mukashi kara yoku ore wa uh, I think he's just saying that no one, there's no man that's as honest as him, <laughs> something like that. You know, Mukashi Kata from back then, talking about himself, something about oh, how it was like back then. Okay, talking with a mouthful certainly doesn't help anything. But regardless, I did not understand much of this at all. Kyo is today, and she's talking about the food, obviously, and the, probably that it's delicious. But that's about all I got. That's a kanji for salt right there. And add. And decrease. But, I don't know. She's, she's complimenting the food, though. Kike yo, oi, listen to me. Uh, that's right. Uh, I got a message from father. Uh, I, I forgot that I got the message from father. Oji-san kata. So yeah, Oji-san is what he's referring to as her father. Okay, so I was right about that. Masaka. Uh... Not quite sure what she's saying here either. Kono kao, sono, sono kao is like that face. Mitai just means it looks like. So, I think she's just trying to say that he, the protagonist realizes something based on the look on his face. I, I, I'm guessing. And guessing is what you'll be doing a lot of if you try to read Japanese stuff as a as a uh, inter intermediate, like I am. Uh, yachin. Deshoka. I'm not sure that's how it's pronounced, but it means rent. I know it means rent. I'm just not sure on the pronunciation. I think it's Yachin, though. But yeah, we're bringing up the rent, so... Apparently that's what I have to pay. I don't know. <laughs> She's saying that I'm correct, and that the, the correct person gets to pay the rent. Or has a privilege of paying the rent. I think. Konoheya no... Something wa that name. No, Chichioyada. So, I mean, the kanji is large in house. So, so basically, I guess the room belongs to her father. Like, I rented it from his fa her father, I guess. I guess how it works. Which makes sense. Because clearly, we live together, and I guess we're living in her house. Like, I guess. I think, I think that's what they're trying to say. I was a little bit confused on certain parts, so I wasn't completely sure about the living situation, but I think that's what that was. It might it might actually go into that more detail here, so I should probably just read it. Ore ga dai gakusei ni natte hitori kurashi o hajimeru sai occasion. Shoukai shite moratta no da. Okay, saying he's going to college, living by himself. He began living by himself. Uh, I think that's Shoukai introduce. Uh, maybe he's referring to being introduced to her father. I'm not quite sure on that one. But something about living alone and call going to college. Uh, sumimasen. Sono... I think that's Kenry. Sono Kenry no... Something. Wa mo chotto dake... Saki? Or actually, that might be part of the... Part of a bigger word, so I'm not sure. Bashi ni dekimasen de shoka. So, I think he's asking for more time on paying for the rent. But I'm not too sure on this sentence. Chinami ni nan... nan... nan getsu? Nan kagetsu? Something like that. So, I'm not actually, actually not sure what that means. It's something something about the month. Kyo de yon kagetsu me. So, I guess the fourth iteration of paying the rent, maybe, is what he's talking about? I'm not quite sure. Mataka ano oyaji. That father. Uh, something about contacting. Uh, somo somo. Uh, no clue on that word. Ni yari yari tori shiteru wake demo nai karana. 
今頃どこで何をしてるんだだだかなんか違うですね either やりとり is like back and forth like like inter interaction with someone わけでもない which basically means it's like it's not as if I haven't done that something like that so I think he just said he hasn't talked to him recently I think is what he's trying to say like he's talked to him before like it's happened but not really recently I think another guess Something to you know, uh, or no, Oyaji no Kotoda. Okay, so that's his father. Oh, there he is. Uh, Shigoto wa Ichio, I think. Something sort of not, you know, Hyoka o ette something other mo, uh, yeah, hiraite something toste taberare ru. Okay, this was a hard one. It's talking about his job here. I'm not quite sure what it is, though. But I think he's talking about how it makes enough to be able to put bread on the table, like eat food. That's that I can hardly make any sense of this, but it's something like that. Something. No, irai ni... Uh, I swear I know that word. I just can't remember. Don't know that word. Nado ni. Okay, I kind of want to just give up on give up on this sentence. E o kaitari. Okay, it's mentioning drawing pictures here. Sono e ni awasete something. No something de atari. Okay, yeah, this is another sentence that I basically understand nothing of. But he mentions drawing pictures here, so maybe it's. Maybe he's a mangaka, I don't know. So na interior design interior design, okay. Mitai na kotomo ite iru rashi. So that nari ni something ga aru to kita kota ga aru. Mentions interior design, so I guess it's something like that. Mondai wa something wa kai gai ga oku going overseas a lot. Sekai o Tobi mawate iru koto. So yeah, basically the problem is he goes around overseas a lot. So he's gone. He's out of the picture. That's the important part. At least I got the important part. That's why we're living with uh, her father. So no sake, uh, shiokuri maybe. Uh, no, furi komi o wasureru koto ga something at the. So no sake uh, is like uh, for that reason or something like that. Other than that, I'm not quite sure. Well, what I do is forget. Like, forgetting a lot of something. Forgetting a lot of what? I, I, I don't know. Seikatsu... Living expenses? Maybe is what that means. I'm just gay best gay... Because I know Seikatsu. And I know that kanji. So I'm going to assume that means living expenses. Wa jibun de kasegu yoni ni shite ga... Is that yachin? Yeah. Ma de subete... Okay, he's talking about making money here. Like for living expenses that he does due to a part-time job. Like everything he has, he gets from his part-time job. Which I'm going to guess is at a cafe. So. In Kitsui, it's like tight. Like I guess it's not a lot. Baito. Baito dai, right? Like your, like his part-time job pay. Ga haitara chanto harau. Basically, yeah, I'll pay once I get I'll I'll pay the rent once I get paid for my job. Zetai ni harao kara. I'll definitely pay. Mo choto dake matte kure. So please just wait. Okay, that was actually a pretty easy sentence. Finally, after all those brutal ones. So he hasn't decided on a new part job, part time job just yet. Okay, that will probably be the the cafe. And hayaru is just a potential form of how how to to pay. Uh, yeah, so de, so de gonna. He's like, I got it. You don't gotta say anything. Honto ni chigaun datte. Chanto sagashite ru. Maya no kombi ni datte. Shikoto ga. Uh, iya de. That was on a roll. I was on a roll, but I'm not quite sure how to read that one. Something meta wake janain da. Tada tensho ga. Okay, so he's bringing up. He's, well, first of all, he's saying that he's looking for a job now. In his previous convenience store job, he hated uh, 
and something about the the tent show the manager he might have been maybe it was a problem but I guess he quit his previous part-time job or got fired and is looking for one now will likely find the cafe maybe due to a butterfly uh I know this word I swear I know this word uh she can she can experience maybe I think I know the word it's just not quite coming to mind Dakara yasumu Okay, I knew most of these words, but that was a hard sentence. Okay. I mean, Yasumu, Yasumu is like, take a break. Uh, Ikagetsu was like a month, like the span of a month. Mayakara from before. Itterunoni, like saying something, d despite saying something. Shifty was like a work shift. Man, I don't know why, this is a hard sentence. Like, I understand so many of the little bits and pieces, but... Society taking responsibility, I can't quite put it all together, unfortunately. But I think he's making excuses. <laughs> Okay, the cash register money. Did he make a mistake with that? Or did he steal it? Hmm. Not quite sure. Black Baito? What does that mean? Like a like a shady part-time job? Anyway, she's saying she's heard about that that topic before, I think. Okay, so he's been searching for a while but hasn't found one. That would that would definitely make it hard to pay rent. So nah. Uh No clue what she said. So nah. Sokoni Kuzuto Usu Usuno Usuno. Usuno is that a kuchi or a row? Can't quite tell. Oh, that's a kanji for foots. Or, I mean, kuzu is like trash. That's about all I got from that sentence. Seriously though, what are you gonna do? Doshio, daga kono mama baito ga mitsukara naito hijouni mazui. Okay, he's saying that, like, yeah, I do, I do have to, I do have to look for a job, I gotta find one. It, it'd be bad if I don't, that kind of thing. Natsu yasumi mo. Should know what that means. I do not. Ni sugoshite mo. Should know what that means too, but I don't. Sura hajimate irunda, nantoka shinaito. Okay, I mean, Natsu yasumi is summer break, obviously. So it goes through just like passing. Yeah, not quite sure beyond that. Nah, name. Oretachi. Oh, okay. Kekkon Shinaika. That's something to just bring up all of a sudden. Unless I'm mistaken, yeah, Kekkon means marriage. So, okay, apparently we're getting married. <laughs> that's a bit of a thing to bring up. <laughs> yeah, she's very much troubled by the sudden, the sudden development, and she's wondering why. Yeah, why all of a sudden is she bringing this up? I'm guessing because he wants to mooch off of her. I'm gonna venture a guess. Ore mai nichi omaya ga tsukute kureta miso shiru o nomi nomi taenda. He wants to eat her miso soup every day. That's the reason why. <laughs> okay, basically saying he already kind of does that. So then he, Ichinichi, to the true Jew or Naka, I'm not sure which one, but all day is pretty much what it means, I think. Goro Goro Suru, something. Na sekatsu wo okuritai, dakara kekkon shite, ore no koto, not sure what that means, hoshin da, dameka. So, 
He said he wants to, he basically said he wants to laze around all day. I guess expecting her to, to pay the bills. And that's the kind of life he wants to have. Just, so he's saying, yeah, marry me, so to that end. <laughs> so saying that's a very bold proposal of his and her chest is going doki doki pretty cute even though i feel like he has less than pure motivations for this sudden confession but so far she seems to be pretty happy ore ganbaru ripa na himo wow ni nararu yona ganbaru kara enji o kikasete kurenai ka oh this guy you know, I don't remember exactly what that means, but I think it was like, uh... Uh, it's been a while since I've looked up this word. You know, it's like, like a good for nothing, like a freeloader, like that kind of thing, something like that. And he's like, Ripa na himo, so like a splendid freeloader, just... He's basically saying he'll do with his best as that, and he's, yeah, he's asking for a reply. Just... Pretty shameless, that's pretty shameless. <laughs> At least I think that's what Hemo means. It could be wrong, because she's not responding too negatively to it, so what do I know, really? But anyway, she's like, yeah, it's my first time getting a confession. What do I do? And he's also mentioning being a Hemo, so. Actually, I do want to double check real quick. Just make sure I'm not horribly misunderstanding that word. Type that in the dictionary. Hemo. Well, it can mean string or chord, but I don't think in this context. Not at all. So, to type it in. Okay, here it is. Man who is financially dependent on a woman. Okay, so I was right. Just wanted to double check real quick because I was doubting myself because of her less than negative reaction to the word. But, uh, yeah, that's what, what I thought of it. Anyway, what did she say? Toriaizu okasa ni sodan shitekuru ne. So she's going to talk to her mom about it for now. Oi, mate tomero obasa ni. So yeah, he's worried that the mother might misunderstand, be, be, become a problem. <laughs> uh, okay, so she does have a problem with the Hemo thing. So, she, I guess the thing was she wasn't taking it that seriously, So, because here she's like, just just, just to be on the, on the safe side, just to clarify things, if, if you're actually serious about this, you know, being a whole freeloader thing, uh, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> That's basically what you're saying. Chanto hataraki tai to yo. So yeah, I, I think I'll properly work, you know. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. Yachin wa chanto harau kara mo choto dake matte kure honto ni suman. So, yeah, eventually, what? Words, how do they work? But he's once again saying he's gonna pay the rent eventually, for sure. So, just give him a break on this. Again, I know most of these words, but uh. Ima no wa nori ni tsukiyatta kedo. I'm confused about that part. Hmm. I think she's trying to say the rent itself is not a big deal, but she should still contact him. Actually, I'm not sure about that at all. I don't know why I said that. But yeah, I'll have to give up on this line as well. Okay, she's shifting the focus from the rent to just his daily life and concern about that. Making sure he's eating well and everything like that. So, I mean, if she makes food for me, I, I should be fine, right? Like, yeah, I'm eating. Ima no tokoro wa. Very literally, like, I'm eating right now. Yeah, it's just sort of. I'm not sure that's quite what she meant, but. Yeah, I'm eating now. So yeah, concerned about his health more than anything. Itsudemo. I should know this sentence. Okay, yeah. Basically saying, come by any time. 
I think it's trying to say. Well, she's saying that he said that. It's a demo, yeah. Just like, just come by, whatever, I think is what I was trying to say. So, Dana, Hontoni Komata Tokiniwa Ojama Sasate Morao yo. Basically, yeah, when I need to, when I'm in trouble, I'll be sure to do that. <laughs> yeah, she's saying that she doesn't, it doesn't have to be, a, like, you don't need a real reason, like, it doesn't have to be an emergency, you can just come by, like, it's fine, just make, so we know that you're doing fine, which this is that. <laughs> Chikai uchi ni jibun no kuchi kara setsume shi ni iku kara. Something about being close by, like explaining himself. Something like that. I, I, I gotcha, I understand. Sate to go. Go chiso sama deshita. Almost, almost didn't know that. I, I remembered. Because I was thinking like that looks familiar, that looks familiar, and then it then I remembered. Okay, something about if it's difficult to go to the father, you can go to her. Even if you're in trouble. You know, something like that. Sasugani Sorewa Dekinai Dono. Yeah, well, I don't know what that means, so your Seni is flying on deaf ears. But, uh, I'm sure that was a real good comeback. Jodan da Tomo Ita Dono. I said it was a joke, right? Name no Kimochi wa Arigatai Kado Kane de. Tayoro to wa omowan. So, yeah, he, I appreciate your feelings, uh, but we're talking about money. I don't want to rely on you, I think. I think. Koshite choshoku wo tsukute moratte ru dake demo jubun amae sasete moratte ru. Soshite tasukatte ru. Itsumo arigato na. Yeah, here he's saying that, that making the food is it's enough. She makes breakfast breakfast for him like this. I appreciate that. That's good enough. It helps a lot. You know, thank you for that. And yeah, that would be quite helpful. And she's an alarm clock. What well, that comes with visible pansu. What more could you ask for, really? Yeah. Sore yorimo, soro soro detta hoga in janaika. But yeah, more importantly, don't you think it's about time to get out of here? Ah, it's already this time. Katazuke, Katazuke wa ore ga yatte oku kana. I'm gonna clean up. Oh, he's referring to the food. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you know, is that okay? Ja oto kotoba ni amaite arigato. I'll take. She's essentially saying she'll take me on that. Take me up on that offer. If if, if there was an actual transit, I'd probably find a better way to phrase it, but. Yeah, it's just it's a it's just a phrase, you know. Okotoba ni amaete, just accepting someone's offers, pretty much what it's a phrase for. Ite reinante iwanakte, like it's fine. You don't have to thank me. Just like you made the food, it's it's all good. I may have added a little bit to that. Gohan skute moratta. Is that ue? I think it's ue. Ue ni somo somo koko wa ore no heya nan dakara. Yeah. Uh, on top of making me the food, this this is my room in the first place, so yeah, I, I got this. I got this. It's like, okay, I'll leave it to you. Jibun no shoki. It's like utensils. Oh, nagashini. Nagashini. Mote itte kara name wa kaban. Is kaban or kutsu? I get those two mixed up a lot. Uh. It's one of the two, though. Oh, ten each day. It's probably Kaban, though, if she's grabbing it with her hand. Uh, Genkan ni Mukao. So, yeah, she... Wait. Yeah, I think he's saying after he's like, grabbing the utensils and stuff, while he's doing that, or after she's done that, she's, like, grabbing her bag and, and going out the door, going towards the entrance. Uh, Chikoku shinai yo ni na. 
Like, don't be late. <laughs> that's hey hey, that's my line. You, you don't be late. Itadakimasu. I'm I'm leaving now. Oh, itadashai. Uh, kuruma ni kiyotsukete na. It's like uh, goodbye bye. Just be careful with be careful of cars. Oremo shitaku wo suruka. Like, yeah, I'll also prepare to go. Uh, all he says he's going to prepare, but implied prepare to, to go, to get going. So now I think is a good place to end this off on, because I'm sure this stopped being entertaining a long time ago, if it ever was. So I pretty much just want to get the point across that I have made a little bit of progress learning Japanese, but nowhere near as much as I would have liked to. It's going to say this in close before I talk much more. Okay, and I can go back to the big old, the big old text now. So, yeah, that was uh, a certain amount of the Cafe Stella trial, and obviously I struggled quite a bit to read to, to read it. But aside from some lines that had me completely lost, I felt like I always understood what was going on, what was being said. He, when he was talking about his father, was probably when I was at my most confused. Like, I still wasn't quite sure what his job was, because that's the kind of situation where just not knowing one word can completely destroy the meaning of the sentence. But uh, I got the gist of it that his father is, like, not in the picture. He's overseas. He's gone. And now he's, like, relying on his childhood friend girl and her parents. The father pays rent to him, or he would if he had money. But he left his previous job and looking for a new one. I don't remember exactly what the reason was exactly. It has nothing to do with the cash register. Either he stole money or someone else did or some mistake was made with it. Something like that. Again, if I, if I was reading this on my own time, I would have like looked up words at, during that because that was pretty important. But this is how well I did without looking up words. So imagine if I actually did consult the dictionary for unknown words. I probably would uh, have understood more than enough to understand the general plot. So yeah, if you are learning Japanese or considering doing so, yeah, after a few months of learning the basics, you can just dive into things like this. And even if you don't understand every single word, you can still get something out of it. Like, I did not understand everything I was reading, but I was I was enjoying it. I was enjoying the characters. You know, she's quite quite a cute, fun character, <laughs> whatever her name was. Whatever her name was. They probably said what her name was at some point, I just didn't remember. Because, but why would I? I you know. But anyway, just that's probably all I really got to say on it. I don't know, really, it's really hard to calculate how much you've improved from one point to another, but I do feel like I have gotten better. I don't even know if I will make this video public, but I at least wanted to make it, so. Yeah, if you have any comments down below about anything, really, about my terrible pronunciation of these words or anything like that, just feel free to let me know. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this was at least a little bit fun to watch. It probably wasn't. I was probably hoping for way too much, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping.